Hello and welcome to this game between Bernard Mazeki and St. John's College under 16. Bernard Mazeki with a great start to the game, putting lots of pressure on St. John's, but unable to get that layup right. St. John's moving the ball around quite nicely, looking for a key entry. Good interception there by Bernard Mazeki. Moving the ball fast up the court. They're looking to play it into the key. Good circle entry. Unable to get the shot. St. John's claim the rebound. Good two on one there. And great defense there by Bernard Mazeki. Forcing the out. So nine minutes left on the clock for this first half here. Good layup attempt there, but no, nothing coming of it. Another shot attempt. Bruno Mazeki claimed the rebound. Looking at driving it up the court, slowing it down a bit. Good pass to the open man. Shot on target, and Bruno Mazeki opens. Scoring. Two to zero. St. John's restarting nicely here. Good interception there, causing the defense attack to break up a little bit. Shot attempt here, off the backboard. St. John's claim the rebound, and they are also on the board. Riff has seen something here. Just telling, telling him to tie up his shoelaces there. BMC restarting here, taking their time to set up formation. John's already set their shape. Long pass off the drum. I don't know if that was a three pointer or a attempt to pass. Substitution here. BMC restarting the game. Going for a nice long shot. Unable to make a count. Good rip. Well committed here by St. John's. Two free throws for BMC. First free throw coming up. Slots it. Very good free throw technique there. Let's see if we can make a two from two. Second attempt, unsuccessful. John's get the rebound, able to drive it up the court. Good pass here, nice layoff. Unable to get the ball. Foul in the post for the shooting. Two free throws, John's. Attempt here. Unable to get it. Apologies. Got the first one, missed the second one. John's able to recycle, working it around. Good disruption there by the defense there. The MC turn it over and a fast break coming up. All four. Good defense tracking back by St. John's. Claim the rebound. Managing to cause a baseline infraction. Quick restart here. Look at driving it into the key. Good pass. Layup attempt. Good steal. John's managed to recover there. To, to run it up the field. Driving it in. Good layup. Two points St. John. 5-3 now.
two point shot, unable to make that count. Foul committed. Two free throws for St. John's. Unable to make the first one count. Second attempt unsuccessful, but rebound claimed by St. John's. Got falling passes and shooting by the free throws. Time out called job by uh, St. John's. So timeout over here. PMC looking to get back to level terms here with St. John's. Taking their time to bring the ball up. John's already in the defensive formation. Good intercept there. Nice pass there, but intercepted by BMC. A little bit too hard on that foul side four. St. John's looking to restart as quickly as possible. Good long pass. Cutting three of the BMC players out. Oh, yeah. St. John's driving it into the key. Good pass out. Looking for the shot. Unable to make a count. John's reclaiming the rebound. Baseline. Carson, open man. Good attempt to keep it in. BMC unfortunately can see the turnover. Good pass there. Bit too hard on the board there. Multiple attempts here at shot and finally getting one in. St. John's taking a four point lead now. And I'm joined in commentary by Ruby. Well, great to join you, Ian. And uh, looking quite okay at the moment for a St. John's College player playing against Bernard Mozeki College. And one of the schools are coming out of Marondera. Very close uh, to a school that we may all know, Peter House. A very strong rival of St. John's College. But with that foul, St. John's College will have another opportunity to just extend their lead here just a little. Uh, was a decent shot, quite unlucky, bobbled out. And with both shots missed, that is the end of that particular half. 
and St. John's College leading seven points to three at this particular break. And I'm sure their coaches will be happy. So we're back in this uh, second half. St. John's leading seven points to three. Going straight for the hoop. Ah, lovely alley hoop didn't quite come together. And there we go. Ball slips out of the hand there. Quite unfortunate for the young man. He's about to start a counter attack for BMC. Now St. John's College. Ah, this may be being a little bit too hasty with the ball but bmc now trying to find themselves and young man called brian can't find that pass but st john's college now going into it into the key but steps there young man looks like you are taking a journey without much permission and now bmc through Ryan now looking for a way through. Finds it difficult, but luckily for him, he's able to still retain possession. So PMC still trying to look for a way through. Goes for the three pointer, it doesn't come together. And lucky for them, another opportunity. Ah, decent attempt. St. John's now coming down the court, looking for the shot. Looks like it was well blocked, but it seems like there's a bit of a challenge there. One of the BMC players is injured. Looks like the young man is able to continue. Finally gets the pass away, and that is definitely a foul. And that is going to be a two free throws here. The first one a little bit rushed, needs to take his time. And that one missed again on the rebound. St. John's now trying to make their way through, and once again another foul so some physicality coming from bmc here and some physicality which will not pay dividends or oh, that free throw goes in takes their tally to eight and the second one in as well so good accurate not impatient and the lead is stretched to nine points to three. And that is obstruction. <laughs> I don't know where they got that plot from, but uh, I don't think it was ever really gonna work. But 
Hey, who knows, maybe it is the latest way of playing basketball. I'm sure a number of individuals would have benefited from such heinous crimes on the court. But anyway, a oh, lovely play. Goes for it. Oh, just the icing on the cake, which wasn't there. But that was brilliant movement and great ball control. Still do have possession. Looking for that shot. Does get it. Doesn't go in. And this time round, BMC can try get out of their own side. And another foul. So BMC here being strangled by the counter press by St. John's College and just struggling to find their way out of their own key. I mean, let alone their own half of the court. Oh, another beautiful free throw. Goes straight in. Surely many others can take notes from this young man and he's just getting them in. So clearly he's found the solution. Maybe just a little bit too casual in his approach. And St. John's drives in and gets the two. So 13-3. And they are pulling away very easily and very nicely. PMC not so sure what they are doing with the ball at the moment. And I'm sure the coach would not be happy with that. But I would understand it is arguably the first kind of action that these boys will be experiencing at high school level and these boys as well would not have had too much time to practice maybe an odd hour here an odd hour there and that will leave a lot to be desired but there is going to be a rotation of subs here looks like the point guard Seems to have his name called Brian. Is not looking too good on the floor. And some medical attention or first aid will be required. Uh, definitely not looking too good. His arm seems to either be carrying a dead arm. In other words, we're looking at a cramp of some sort of stiffness within the arm or he could be struggling with a fracture but either way the young man is struggling here and hopefully he will receive the attention that will either at least get him back onto the substitutes bench or even back on the court to help his team at least overturn what is and now more of an impossible lead to overturn 13 points to three to the good for st john's college whilst also at the same time only four and a half minutes left on the clock
And so with that injury break having taken place and the young man has been substituted. It is St. John's College who will go ahead with their free throws. There was foul play prior to that break in play. Ah, that one doesn't go in. And that one goes in, so. Now about three minutes left, an intercept, and again another foul, so really has been tough times here for BMC. Wow, another lovely free throw here. I'm sure he does this very often, spends a lot of time practicing this because he's just getting them in. Now BMC trying to drive down the court, show some assertiveness, they can't. An intercept and a lovely layup. And two points in the bag. Again, pressed. And St. John's College being aggressive here. Uh, pass. And, and another layup. Gets another two points. Now BMC with a chance. Uh, just no control. There we go, some steps. BMC will start. Oh, that pass needed to be far much better. Goes for the layup. There was no one who was going to disturb him in that one. Goes for the shot, doesn't go in. And the rebound taken by St. John's College. Now driving down the court, big pass into the key. And another layup again. Two points. It's now 24-3 with approximately one and a half minutes left. Uh, again, it goes in. Shaw sure. has been a rampage here from St. John's College. And they keep on pressing right up the court. A second chance to bite the cherry, but another foul there. And it is one of those days where you wish you had not traveled from Marondera and been a part of this team. Or you would have hoped for a better performance at the very least. 50 seconds left on the clock. I'm sure BMC would prefer to have this one done and dusted. Get over this. Move on to the next match in the season. And now looking for one or two passes to string. That one has been knocked out and 30 seconds left on the clock. Oh, good intercept. Now it's 2v1, but well taken from behind. But again, intercepted. Another layup. Goes for the shot. And once bitten, twice shy. No shot taken. But this time round, they get another foul. 10 seconds on the clock. And now it's really all about semantics and optics for BMC. The buzzer goes. The buzzer goes and it's two quarters done. Second shot going in. And it doesn't go in. So that's the end of that quarter. And it is the halftime break. Two quarters done. 
St. John's leading 26 points to 3. And we'll give you more in the third quarter coming up shortly. So welcome back to the third quarter of this match between BMC and St. John's College. Oh, that's a lovely shot and a good response to what has been a torrid second quarter that they experienced. And a three-pointer goes in, so hopefully that will spur them on to try and push the points back. It is 26 points to six at the moment. So St. John's College can afford to be a bit more comfortable, but they most likely are going to attack left, right, and center. This one is an intercept. Tried to go for something that was a little bit uh, fancy, but St. John's College now on the recovery, driving down the court as well. Oh, they go for the shot, and they gain the foul too. So two points plus the free throws that are coming in. Good shot. That was the steps there, maybe just running out of ideas whilst he was holding on to the ball. Now going for it, St. John's College into the key, looking for the shot. Maybe just looped up a little bit too much, confusion once again. Hands possession back to St. John's. Looking for the pass and the shot. 
and none of it works out. Now BMC down the court. Goes for the shot again, and this time a little bit too short. Oh, great turn. Looking for that pass. Wasn't quite on. Well, that was a Hail Mary pass, I can tell you. He did that pass with his eyes closed. Oh, the shape for that shot didn't quite work out. But BMC now trying to fight for that shot. Can't get it. And once again, Hail Marys of shots that are being done here by BMC. And the ball finally taken away by St. John's. I'm quite lucky that that fall wasn't too nasty. But it is going to be a foul. And, and this time actually in favor of BMC. BMC still making a bit more. And looks like they are running out of ideas just a little here. Just looking to just make shots anyhow, anyway. St. John's College clearly showing that they are a bit more organized in terms of their intentions. Oh, that was a lovely pass. Poor execution on the shot both times but they'll have a third bite of the cherry somehow some way let's see if they're fourth time lucky maybe fifth maybe sixth and sixth time lucky so 30 points to six that lead quite strong five minutes left in this particular quarter great pass and good shot for BMC Again, St. John's looking for another opening. And that's a foul. It's a substitution coming on. Seems like the man who has been making all the shots, he's been told to remain in. Goes for the turn and the shot. Another two points. Oh, another shot again. Really scoring for fun. And I must allude to the fact that this is an improvement from some of the stuff that we did get to see last year. Right here at St. John's College, the challenge with shooting and it seems like they have gotten that right well maybe you might look at the opponent and say it's much easier to shoot against them but then again you can only shoot against what has been put in front of you and at this particular point BMC not offering much resistance but another substitution coming on and just in the shot there, we can see the young man who injured his arm from BMC. Now finally has got something to hold his arm together. And it's good to see the first aiders can also put a smile on his face. But getting back into the game, St. John's is a 3v1. A layup all by himself. Missed again. And this time round... Uh, I'm not so sure if the young man felt he was playing rugby because he took over five steps with that ball. And another foul this time round. Looking for that pass and it looked just a little too obvious at that point. 
That first shot doesn't go in, neither does the second. The intercept comes, now driving down the court. Goes for it and nails that layup. So now entering double digits have BMC. Looking for the shot, hits the rim. Second time round, not accurate. Falls through and oh my word. That could have been really, really nasty, but didn't end up in a bad injury. So we'll continue with play. With BMC having another shot doesn't go in. So I guess that one goes for the shot, doesn't go up. And he finds himself out, stepped on the line. I must hasten to say it has been interesting to see how more reserved the BMC coach is. Maybe resigned to the fact that uh, not much is going to take place. St. John's. Trying to be a bit too fancy, but in that flowery play he does earn himself a free throw needs to be a bit more patient and misses the second one but rebound collected by his teammate and in the tussle the ball still belongs to St. John's Goes for it. There is a fight for the ball here. And BMC wins that fight. And with the time up, that's it. Done and dusted for the third quarter. And St. John's College comfortably in the lead. 36 points to 10 with one more quarter to go. So welcome back to the fourth and final quarter of this particular match. And there we go. Uh, just uh, too much momentum there. Wasn't able to take it in a stride. The pass does make it through. Surely that's the easiest shot he'll ever get. And BMC does 
get the ball. So, see me seeing a better pattern of play here. Well, I think the instruction for the number seven of BMC is at any particular point, receive the ball and shoot. It's called a gunslinger approach. Shoot on sight. Now BMC. And again, no particular thought given on that one. Oh, that's a great defensive block. Oh, quite unlucky. Well, third time unlucky, I would say. Three shots, three attempts, none go in, and... St. John's is still do have possession of the ball. Uh, looked for a more difficult pass than was necessary. Oh, an interception. But the referee says no. And that pass is wayward. And only makes life more interesting uh, for St. John's College. looking to drive down the court and again steps really needs to observe that the young man you really can't be the last man and be making such mistakes oh lovely pass into the key surely surely he should have buried that one but no pressure especially when you've got a 25 point lead Great pass again. Again, the shoot on site approach. Not necessarily paying the dividends that they would like. And in the fourth and final quarter, where you would like to be pulling back on points, a three point attempt doesn't go in. Once again, another three-point attempt. Doesn't go in. And then the layup is the much easier option. Looking to get closer. And ends up winning a foul for himself. Now getting ready to restart play. Goes for the shot. And he got that one in. Well, it looks like the gunslinging approach works sometimes. He has been able to bag his second three-pointer of the match. Maybe he is the point person to get them the points. That can put some respectability on the scoreline. But you definitely can't put some respectability with that kind of passing. And they're punished immediately with another two-pointer. Good passing, but again, some lethargic play. 3v1, the pass comes in. But there we go, bumped into his opponent. Quite unfortunate, I would say. I think that contact was really more inspired by momentum than by intention. 
and another foul. So the foul count for BMC racking up all these fouls. And they have been punished by some of the free throws. But not particularly that one. And he gets the second one right. And so an entire team change. Literally four subs at once. Putting in some fresh legs on the court. And not able to hold on to that one. This is the number seven from BMC. It has been a long, hard shift for the boys. Oh, look at that. Steps. Oh, that's a wayward pass and doesn't help the cause of BMC. Pass comes in. Ooh. That one was really an ambitious pass. Does get the rebound. Looking for that pass still. He finally finds the number seven who finds an easy layup. So that was a good pass for them. Trying to go for the layup with momentum. And so the defense there really put under pressure. St. John's intercepts again, driving down the court, and that layup was as easy as you like. A further two points. And that's 42-15, one and a half minutes left on the clock in this quarter. The fourth and final quarter. And was the long pass to number seven, who was able to gain himself a couple of free throws. I'm sure he'll be a happy camper on the bus. Got a couple of shots in. Oh, both shots quite unlucky. And there we go, the pass comes in, but just a little bit too much. Too much work to do. So it has to allow that one to roll out of play. Would have been a nice time to call a timeout for the BMC coach. Try to talk to the boys. Oh, that shot a little bit too tame and weak. Now driving down the court. Most probably will go all the way. Was waiting on that foul. Found that foul. And will get free throws for that. While the buzzer goes, it is done and dusted. Four quarters down. And it's fair to say that BMC here received a hiding on the St. John's Court. So it ends a 42-15 in favor of St. John's College. BMC really struggled to find their way into this one. But more basketball action is set to come.